To our coronavirus crisis, a sign of hope at IU Health today. Doses of the Moderna vaccine delivered to the hospital to be administered to thousands of frontline workers. And while this is a step in the right direction, health experts are concerned and are warning that positivity rates remain high and it's not time to let your guard down. Now I spoke with experts today to hear why we need to remain vigilant as Christmas and New Year celebrations begin. 4,000 doses of the Moderna vaccine have arrived at IU Health with more vaccines set for delivery in the weeks to come. Things are off and running and going great. Chris Weaver, the chief clinical officer, calls the distribution time critical. Really the one question uh, and one worry is getting uh, good supply of the vaccines. Hospitals across Indiana are receiving the second vaccine shipment after the FDA authorized emergency rollout following Pfizer's distribution last week. We witnessed tears of joy, excitement, and above all, relief. But healthcare experts and state leaders warn the COVID-19 fight in Indiana is not over yet, as traveling and gatherings pick up for the holidays. Don't pop the cork. We don't know for, you know, how much you might still spread it, uh, spread COVID. And so everybody to stay smart, uh, keep social distancing in play, keep their masks on, keep any gatherings to a minimum, uh, and, and really, uh, so travel safe if you're going to have to travel. Some are questioning this as the Thanksgiving surge wasn't as high as expected. Well, look, we're always going to be concerned and, and maybe our surge wasn't as great as could have been anticipated. We are still at an abnormally high positivity rate. A reminder to do the right thing this Christmas and New Year to protect you and your loved ones. Please come and get your vaccine when it's your time. And until then, keep wearing your mask and keep social distancing. The state is working to determine who will be eligible next for the vaccine. They're consulting with an external vaccine advisory committee. Experts have to consider what is the risk of exposure? What is the risk of exposing others and how much of the vaccine is available? We'll, of course, stay on top of the story and keep you posted.